Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside the Park with Emily and Ben. Coming to you tonight from Harbor Park in Norfolk, Virginia. Home of the Norfolk Tide. AAA affiliate of the Baltimore Orioles. Come along as we check out and see if the tide is high. So uh, Harbor Park in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, home of the Tides. Um, you know, uh, celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Uh, there's some things I really like about it. It's a little over 12,000 capacity. They don't fill it up, um, you know, but, but a couple times over the summer. Uh, I'd say the night we were there uh, it was about half full, uh, but a comfortable park, uh, great food selections uh, at the ballpark. Um, you know, accessible, uh, there was a light rail station right outside the main gate, uh, very convenient, plenty of parking, six bucks to park, tickets very reasonable. We sat, you know, third row uh, right next to the dugout. I think our tickets were, you know, $12 a piece, uh, something very reasonable. And then, you know, the food selection I thought was very good for a minor league ballpark. I mean, they, they had a wide variety of uh, food at this ballpark. And, um, you know, it was, it was affordable and it was pretty good. Uh, you know, a couple notable things about the park. I mean, you know, it, it has a restaurant out in uh, left field. It looks like it was added onto the ballpark at a, you know, at post, post original construction called HITS. Uh, it has uh, glass uh, seating so you can see into the ballpark and watch the game from the restaurant. 
um, and they do allow earlier entry into the ballpark if you uh, go out and have dinner at the Hits restaurant. So, uh, you know, didn't go in there to check it out, but uh, uh, they had a good crowd in there. Uh, the other thing I'd say about the ballpark is, you know, it is a very nice ballpark. Uh, it is comfortable, but you know, it is 30 years old and it is showing its age a little bit. There were some things in the ballpark, you know, as far as accessibility, uh, that seemed to be a little bit behind the times. Um, you know, we noticed in a couple of places where railings were rusty or wobbly. Uh, there were several um, seats that were kind of out of commission throughout the ballpark. So, you know, they do have some deferred maintenance that they should tend to. Uh, but, you know, food, very good. Accessibility, really good uh, from, from a transit and um, parking perspective. And then the last thing I just note is that, you know, they had two large video screens, which I thought were, were very good. They had good uh, information throughout the game, good announcements. So the other thing I really liked about the park too is that the netting, uh, the netting went just a little bit past the dugouts. So you did have uh, the ability to, um, you know, get autographs and quite a few players signed. Uh, my daughter actually got a, her uh, jersey, her Colorado Rockies, Ramel Tapia jersey signed by Ramel Tapia, who is, um, uh, Tappy is, uh, you know, with the with the Durham Bulls right now, uh, working his way back to the big league. So, so all in all, um, the tide was high uh, at Harbor Park. Come the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, wide with gold. going to do it from Harbor Park here in Norfolk, Virginia. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. We hope you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, get outside and get inside the park.